Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are, well my dad's service sitting the chopper right now. He's greasing it, getting, he's gonna get the chains oiled, everything ready to go, to go down to Peggy's, which is our next farm. We are one long distance farm we gotta do. We're gonna fill up the next bag. We had changed the bagger to 8470 last night and then the tractor quit on him like six times in one load so he thought the fuel pump is going out we could we actually had this problem last year where the tractor rolled back down the hill full load of manure but so he was like so he changed the fuel pump over and it said the work it works so we're gonna see if it works now hopefully it does because the first load it didn't do it to him and the second load it did so I don't know what's going on. I just, I've just been telling Dad to get rid of the tractor for since that happened. But you know how farm owners are—they're stubborn. <laughs> but yeah, the chopper still looking pretty nice and sharp for being 10 years old. Bought this thing for about 65,000, and I I seen a new one not too long ago. It's about a hundred grand for one of these things. Who would want to pay a hundred grand for this thing? I really do not know. But yeah, the, put just put fuel in this thing. Talk to the guy, the guys over at GA was here. Talk to them for a little bit, and then and now we're doing this. So shouldn't take us too long. We're gonna we're gonna go get started on Peggy's. I got my drone with me. Get some drone footage down there. We're gonna be working on hillsides today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start up on the hillside and then grandpa's gonna finish down at the bottom. So probably be about, we're gonna probably finish almost all Peggy's in this one bag. Well, you grabbed the load from my dad. Well, yeah. got an odd tire on one of them. I didn't want to get two tires fixed the other day. So I went and dropped the box off ran the tires in the back. He went down to Peggy's already with the box. I'm going to go bring the box over by that box by the International. I'm going to go bring that down there and then we're going to go pick them up and then we're going to probably have have some lunch. I'm not sure what lunch is today, but I'm starting to get pretty hungry. It's already 12, 15. Dropped off a pin for my tractor because my goal is to meet up with the Burns' farm. So yeah, I got I already got everything planned out. We should be able to do a load every 20 minutes or so. So I'm the dad, my dad, or my grandpa's not waiting. All right, now let's see, see if I can line this up with the hitch or not. All right, let's try that. Better than that, my pins in here. I can reach it. Windy today. Beautiful day. Come on, rain every day in the forecast, though. So we're gonna see what we can get done this week. Next week they're showing dry, so put my seatbelt on. Jeez. So next week will be. At it, we should be able to get done with corn silage next week, and then we're gonna start snap which next week. So it should be, should be able to get almost everything done before the expo this year for the first time ever. Well, we got a, as you can see in the mirror or not, but there is a case magnet behind me. They're chopping for our neighbor. I wonder where they are chopping at. I'm very, I think they're done already. To be honest, yeah. They're heading up this way, so I'm guessing they are. But they have a great big cloth chopper and Magnum tractors and whatnot, so I'm going away for them. But I forgot how tractors go. That's but moving along. We're gonna, we're gonna move along about 30, 35 mile an hour. Can't have the box swing too much. Like actually, is doing right now. I'm going 32. 
I'll catch up with them. I need to see the tractor up ahead. We have officially caught the two tractors ahead of us. I wonder what they're. I know. I know they have a deer. They have their big case guys, but they've been starting to get by a John Deere. They got out a new John Deere self-propelled wind rower a couple years ago. That looks pretty nice. They milk 180 cows, but they do a lot of uh, cash crop too. For how many acres they would be running, they'd be probably milking 400 cows or so. But it is, it is what it is, I guess. We're going to see what kind of tractors they run when we get to the stop sign. I know this is not uh, Manning's. Manning's, uh, they run, they do run Case, but they also run some older Case tractors. They run, these guys run on that old Myers. There's a chopper right there up ahead. See the ch chopper, I'm not sure. Yeah, see, I have a Miller Pro right there, but. I'm not sure whether, ch I'm not sure if they're chopping for themselves or they're chopping for me. I'm very curious. There's our big case tractor. And there's the, yep, yep, it's right over there, so. I'm gonna use that box to open up the field and then, and then they'll start chopping actually on, on, uh, on the side with the boxes and whatnot. But I'll see you down there, Dad, and coming for you.
fun story for you. I was gonna change my SD card over to my drone and put, put the drone up in the air while my dad was finishing up on a load. And then the SD card fell out. I was like, well, I'll never find that again. And so I was just looking for it, looking for it. My grandpa pulled the truck ahead for me. Uh, and thank God I saw it right there. Otherwise, I'll never find the freaking thing. So now, I guess I got, I got an extra SD card. I should use that for my drone, so I never have to freaking use it. I'm going to attempt to get this load and load in. get the other load and take this box back down there or I can change the tire whichever but we'll see we'll see what happens all right we got the tractor working we're unloading into this bag now we got a fourth load going in this bag Probably moves quite a bit. I could. The pitch is already or the tongue is already facing this way, but I need to I need to make it come uh, this way quite a bit. That's touching that rubber almost. Yeah, she works. Uh, when I did beforehand, if you guys don't remember, probably don't. Which is okay. But it act like the 540 was on there when it wasn't. So it is my the uh, new shaft for it or whatever, the thousand shaft. And now she works. We make a decent bag with it since it's be fourth load, so we'll see. See how much we'll be able to fit in this bag. Hopefully I was gonna say 25 loads or probably about that. are definitely touching this rubber is really attached to it so I'll probably have to back off out of here but should be too hard pretty easy to should be pretty easy to back the sucker out of here almost I never turn, so what I do is I, I go in to the bag array and I usually turn and I turn too early and too late, so I'm gonna back her up. Wish we all good now.
Go get this thing out of here now. putting this in neutral because I don't know why this car quads sometimes there we go uh, good bumpy so I got my dad to agree to take the boxes over to Burns's for me and my grandpa were dumping boxes off at If you could see the tire, we got somebody that took over to uh, Steve Mowers the other day. Good guy. The tire looks a little better now compared to this tire. Way better. Hook this thing up. I'm going to take this over Burns's. This one is the one that needs to be. I know this is the one that needs to be. And. Uh, I need this one is the one and it can have, not really be a neutral when I start it but no matter what I can I can get her to run it takes me a little bit but that's okay I'll take this box over to Burns's and I'm just gonna wait I guess I should when I when I come back I grab my drone and get some cool shots of me unloading I guess We're back at it. Be able to get a few loads on today. I guess in like another three or four or five, maybe. Be able to do about 25 minutes of load, so probably you'll be able to almost finish that bag tomorrow. We really a cranker. There's the rain to the, down to our south. Let's get her done. That did not take long at all for Dad to come back. I was I've been waiting for about a few minutes. All right, go help Dad. Do you have I don't know why he just flip. He's gonna flip around and. Uh, okay, so I want to make sure he doesn't be dumb. Give her home, Dad. You might just want to put the box right there so you don't yeah, spin out. Right. My tractor can handle it. Yours cannot. That's a heavy load there that you got. That is a heavy load. <laughs> 
That's gonna be that's gonna be really hard to start unloading. Yeah, he really got that fucking bolt top. But I'm thinking it's getting drier. It might be easier than you think. Yeah, it definitely looks dry. A lot of green in it. Oh yeah. Really greeny. Yeah. Really greeny. I agree. I realized I was not recording. But I tried starting it up. I don't always have to get that lever. I turn the box on with for the web, the chain that breaks the silage up. I would always have to push it up and down, up and down, up and down. This time it went first try, so dry, dryer equals better, I guess, in this case, but we'll see. I'd say she's below, she's definitely below 50, but she, but it's okay to have a little drier feet because we, we uh, so every single one of these bags is wet, so it's gonna be okay if we have one dry bag, it's gonna be okay. I was trying to put that tracker in neutral, but that should work now. Got her neutral, and now she should actually like. Oh my, oh, I did it a second time. All the way back these power collides, you just gotta make, you gotta make sure you're in neutral every time. And I have not been doing that today. There we go, that's a little better. not do it. This tractor is coming off today. Um, I am sorry dad but I also want somebody to all right I had to turn the key off and enter. She doesn't want to turn back on I guess. Just turn turn the throttle off. Well that's all she wrote. I'll then be able to get this tractor started. I gotta at least finish this load. I don't know what else to do.
gonna be an alert that this tracker should do this. But again, this tracker's not making it through this load. No matter what, I'm not getting through this load. Alright, we're gonna attempt to do another load here. I'm trying to run this, run this a little bit slower. I'll, I'll put get this ready first. So me and my dad, we have the fuses, and some of them are getting pretty warm. So I don't know, I don't know what else to do. I called. Go on. Thank you. I called Hillsboro Equipment and I got we don't have the thousand shaft for the 7810. So I called up there and they said they have one on hand, so I got just in case. If we need to, I can go over to Hillsboro, which is about 45 minute drive from here, and go grab that real quick. If we if we were to take this beggar off, we have to release all the pressure. And then take it off. So, one thing you don't want to do, but if we have to, we're going to have to. I'll leave my dad's 20 on 20 international on anytime soon. RPM. Hopefully she unloads pretty good. All right, we made it through. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shut that tractor off every time. So, wait a second, let me turn it. I think that tractor is getting hot. I feel like if I leave it on, and it'll get it too hot. I just told my dad to go up and get a thousand shaft just in case. It makes a pretty nice bag, don't get me wrong, but you gotta think like, I don't know. Is if this tractor continues to do the same thing, let's just say if you're that drive around to get to the next bag and you're facing uphill, there you go. There, there's your life on the drain right there. So I'm going because you gotta turn back around and say if the tractor is no matter what though, as long as you continue to be turning, you'll be okay. But if you're facing straight up hill, you know, you're going right back down to the woods. But I'm gonna take this load over. Dad, I got fuel in my tractor, so we're good. Fuel. And hopefully, it'll continue to chop corn with no issues. Let's, let's get it. And didn't even know what's going on. About four o'clock. So I don't know what's going on. If I see grandpa's vehicle go by, then I think it's time for me to leave. I've been waiting here for quite a bit, so I'm guessing something broke down on a chopper or something. I don't know. It's always something. We are officially broke. Yeah, I called it. Grandpa came back to the vehicle. I looked at the messenger. Dad said it was broke. So. I gotta figure out what's going on. I hope the tractor's turned off. So I don't have to worry about going to turn that on. So hopefully, I don't think I'll be able to come back and do another load. Well, what time is it? 3.58, so. Another hour, 
ready to go down and start scraping. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I will be doing a video with Connor. It'll be coming out tomorrow. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. <laughs>